Mr. Sumitzel for legal enforcement. Good morning, sir, and guys. Firstly, I'm grateful to speak before you. So, guys, my topic is GST. So, shall we start now? My name is GST stands for Goods and Services Tax, which could be also referred to as an indirect tax. Lived on the supply of goods and services. It is applied at every step of the production process. It is the government of India. Who lists this tax? Well, GST came into effect from 1st July 2017 by 101st Amendment of the Constitution of India. The key feature of this system of tax is it follow a uniform tax rule for a specific product throughout India. It has replaced all the other form of indirect states or central taxes. The central taxes enhancing the uniformity of the market. The GST Council of uh, the GST Council of India is a governing body. Its formalities, the tax rates, and uh, works with other similarly regulations. It is consist of a central finance minister as well as the finance minister of the state. Before GST, the goods were charged with 26.5% of tax, including all kinds of tax. Now it has gotten down to almost 13%. The tax that is systematized by the GST, which is paid by everyone. At the end of procedures, that are into the manufacturing of product. It is has subsequently paid by manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers, etc. It is in the end, the consumer that has to pay the burden of all taxes and um, burden of all taxes is the final of the tax rate and uh, the main objective behind bringing GST, goods and services tax into the system was to make the whole Indian market a uniform one. It has reduced the unnecessary tax burden of different state or uh, Central Texas. Similarly, it is likely to appear as a more transparent system. Also, by bringing small and medium enterprises and other form of organized sectors. So, the GST leads to a more in stable Indian industrial sector and uh, might improve the economy. So, guys, I think that is about my topic. Thanks for listening to me. Thank you.